So, Kirk. Yeah. Today, we've actually already done a podcast, and we started one place, and we ended up somewhere else. So, we're here talking it over again and sort of figuring out how to introduce this episode to the listeners. Right. We did a introduction. We did the whole episode, but then we went down some very interesting roads that are completely different from the original intro. So now we're doing another intro. Yeah. We originally were going to talk about mental status exam and affect, but somehow we ended up talking about your personality, yeah. my personality, sense of self. You went into some extremely personal areas for yourself. Mm. Um, I, I think I did too, but you I, did? I feel like you did more than me. Oh. Uh, we talked about the concept of self, the development of self, living your purpose, existential things. Yeah, we did a lot of existential stuff. And really specific in a way that I, I've never, I don't think I've really had a conversation like that before about how does one develop self? What does it feel like to have less of a self, yeah. less of a purpose? And the real experience of what it's like to search for that and, and try to find it and, mm -hmm. and, and why emerging self would be tamped down by fears of rejection and and it hurting other people and based on experience and and how that interplay of of self and and just trying to survive yeah. you gave a phrase that you know the utility of I'm not sure I exist outside my own utility right it, and that's a thing that a lot of people suffer from particularly people who were mistreated growing up they're surviving day to day. Mm -hmm. And so they're just trying to be utilitarian yeah. to other people. They're trying to be useful and not bother other people. And they were never given a time or a space to, to be themselves and to, what do I want? You know, what do I want out of this life? Because when I focus on that, bad things happen or people don't care. or I don't even know what I want. Yeah. I don't even know. Right. We go into our relationship, times where you and I have had conflict. Right. Times where you have slapped my hand metaphorically, oh, yeah. and uh, and I deserved it. Oh. Uh, while we talk about late night pizza, yeah, this is a psychology and style podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Kirkanda. I'm a therapist and a professor. Who are you, Bob? I am your friend for the last twenty two years. Yeah, who uh, you met in graduate school way back when. Also a therapist in practice here in Seattle. It is twenty four years. Oh, you are right. Oh, wow. Half my life. So this episode is just for patrons of the podcast for a few reasons. One is because I like to make the clinical, more clinical episodes just for patrons. And also because we get into such personal stuff. This is not f suited for general internet uh, exposure. Uh, this is only available to patrons. And so if you want to get the, so this is going to end. If you're not a patron, this episode is going to end for you very soon. Mm -hmm. If you're a patron, you're going to get access to the whole thing. And if you want to access the whole thing and the hundreds of other episodes in which we go into uh, some of our best content, you have to go to patreon.com and become a patron of our podcast. That's patre patreon.com. When you become a patron, you get access to all those episodes. You also don't have to listen to commercials. And you also know that a portion of your pledge goes towards various charities that we support, including Pet Finder, Trevor Project, and we actually are giving out scholarships now. We, we just gave out a $2,000 scholarship to someone who was going to have to drop out of their doctoral studies. Oh, if, I didn't know you found someone. Uh, she was going to have to drop out of school because she didn't have enough money for her program. And, and she's already done so much for wow. the world and society. And she's going to do so many great things for social justice and for poor folks and people of color. She's just, she's already done amazing and she's, she's going to be an amazing That's... contribution to our field. And so it just feels so good to be a part of that yeah. pragmatic um, thing. And, and so when you become a patron, know that some of your money goes towards that. Uh, so let's end that portion right now. What do you say, Bob? I say yes. 